Hey, this is Joe Gilder from Presonus. This video is the first in a series of videos I'm gonna be making on the basics of Studio One. So whether you are switching from another digital audio workstation or you've been using Studio One for a while or maybe you're brand new to the whole recording world, this series of videos is gonna walk you through the basics of the different features and functionalities inside of Studio One and how I use them. Now, a couple of things to, to, to point out. I'm not gonna show you every single feature that exists inside of Studio One. First of all, I don't know every single feature that exists inside Studio One. Second of all, you don't need to know every feature inside of Studio One in order to use it to make music. It's kind of like, I've got all these guitars over here. It would be like if I focused all my attention on learning how the ins and outs of every piece of a guitar and how it's made and constructed and glued together and how the electronics work to the exclusion of ever actually playing the guitar. I want you to play Studio One and learn just what you need to get going. Now, a little bit about me if you're not familiar with me. Hi, I'm Joe, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm a songwriter, so a lot of what I do is more audio recording, editing, mixing, and mastering. I do some MIDI stuff, but I'm more of an audio guy. I just like to set up microphones and record into them. So that's that's gonna be my bent. Uh, if you're into more electronic dance music, MIDI production stuff, uh, check out Gregor's videos on the Personas channel. He'll have a lot of he'll cover a lot of that stuff as well. So we're a good we're a good partnership, Gregor and I, because I'm Mr. Audio Studio guy, and he is like a MIDI production genius uh, and with our powers combined. So anyway, that's what to expect from this series. They will all be inside of the Studio One with Joe Gilder playlist, so you should be able to find them nicely and tell your friends. If you got folks who you're saying, please try Studio One, go check out this video series from Joe. It'll help you get familiar with the way this works. Because I've done that before. I've switched DAWs a few times in the past, and when you first switch, you know you should be able to do certain things, but it's just going to be laid out differently than you're used to. My personal preference is Studio One. Uh, I used Logic and Pro Tools for years and then eventually started using Studio One about eight years ago and haven't looked back. So I'm going to walk you through the ways that I use it and I will try my best to keep these videos short and concise, focus on one section of Studio One and let you get back to work. Deal? Great. As always, if you have questions, leave comments below and I'll be checking on those. And that's it. Enjoy the series. Thanks. Mm -hmm.